Okay. Hello, everybody. It's the it's the sixteenth of January, Monday. Um, right. I had some thoughts this morning. I've been doing the same types of updates. They've mainly been me talking about boring technical stuff around my video journal and what I've been doing and what I'm doing next and all that. And it's got to be boring for most people. I'm getting bored of doing the same stuff every day. One of the things I haven't really talked about is I, I've had this idea for a while that I wanted to, to write down some of my stories from when I grew up and maybe make them into a small book or something that, that I could give to my daughters because I have twin daughters that are in their 30s who live in the U.S. and I got divorced from their mom when they were really young and I never had a chance to see them when they were growing up. And they never got a chance to get to know me or to know any of my stories or how I grew up or where I'm from or any of that. And I don't, I don't even know if they're interested. In fact, they're, they may not be interested, and that's okay if they're not. I understand that. Um, but if they are interested and they ever did become curious at some point, I think it would be nice to have something to, to give to them or for somebody, you know, for my son or for my wife or something, if, you know, God forbid, if I get run over by a truck on the motorcycle or something like that, then if I left something behind that at least they could connect with at some point in their life if, if they want to do that. And if not, then it's a good memento maybe for my son and, and, and my wife or, or anyone else. And so, yeah, so that's where the name Life by Misadventure came from. So that's what I wanted to call this autobiography, book, PDF, like whatever it, it morphed into. But this is an idea I had before I ever even got into doing video or the podcast or any of that sort of stuff and actually realized that I enjoy doing this. And so the next greatest idea then is obviously to record all that stuff. So I started thinking that that was really my thought process behind naming the channel Life by Misadventure. And it was, the original idea was for me to practice my video skills and that sort of thing. But I've kind of got to the point where, I mean, forget the lighting, the lighting changes and we'll, we'll change locations. And, you know, I did the one, the recording earlier today from the coffee shop and I just used a lav mic and it was noisy and whatever. But what I realized is, is that it doesn't bother me anymore. I'm getting much more comfortable talking and, and not worrying and over, getting over anal retentive about, oh my God, there might be a little bit of noise in the background or, oh my God, the, the shelving isn't perfect. Oh my, I forgot to turn my light on. Do you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. And that used to really bug me and it is bugging me now. So I'm going to turn it on. There we go. Got to have the mushroom light. But the, the point is, is that part of this exercise was for me to get more comfortable at being in front of the camera and to talking and talking to the camera, to paying more attention to it. I've also realized when I was at work today and I've been on a couple of webcam calls that I've actually trained myself and I've got comfortable with actually looking at the camera and not having, I can see my down here where my laptop is in front of me. I can see in my peripheral vision that I'm sort of in the center of the frame and all that. That's all I need to know. And when I'm talking to someone, even on a Zoom call or whatever, I can still see them in the in the edge of the frame. So it's actually OK. I do have a teleprompter coming. Excuse me. I got one of the new Elgato teleprompters and I was on the waiting list. It's been it's been back ordered for months and they sent me an email. So I was able to get one, but it doesn't get here till February. So I've got a few more weeks before it arrives. And once that gets here, that is going to be amazing. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be as amazing as people say it is. And what it means is, is that I can actually put a, I can put the teleprompter in front and then I can talk directly to camera, even when I'm on calls and stuff like that. So that's going to be amazing. And it's really going to help with the podcast because it means I'm not going to be tempted to keep looking down at my computer all the time. I'm actually going to be able to see the person's face that I'm talking to literally in the camera lens. So that's going to be cool. Anyway, 
I think now that I've realized that I've become a lot more comfortable in doing this, and now I'm a little bit more comfortable telling the story. So what I thought I might do is I'm not going to do it tonight, but what I'll do either this evening or tomorrow during the day, or it may take me a couple of days, but I'm going to start to plan out a few different things that I want to talk about. And then maybe when I do these videos, instead of giving you technical updates on like what the lighting looks like and how I found this cool mirror, like I don't think anybody really cares about that. If you do, tell me in the comments and I'll be happy to keep doing them every once in a while. And, and maybe I'll mix them up in the beginning, but I want to, I want to use this to, to kind of tell my story and to tell some old stories about when I grew up and what it was like, you know, growing up, I was, I was born in, in the, in the last of the sixties and I grew up in the seventies and there were no computers and it was a very, very different world back then. And I don't think I have any particular wisdom, um, to share. I know there's loads of people out there that love to have, you know, sort of X gen and they're, you know, they're, their YouTube and they're all over TikTok and all that sort of stuff. And I don't, you know, and I'm not the guy from the writing camp in Wyoming either. I, I'm not sure that I have that much wisdom to share, but I do have a story and I do have some stuff to happen to me. And if I can use this just as a record for my kids and people in my family, so that if it, if something does happen to me, I mean, it, I ride a motorcycle every day. It is a very real possibility that tomorrow I could get run over by a truck. And that'd be it. So I need to be conscious of that. So I'd, I'd like to leave something at least for them. And again, I want there to be some skin in the game. So I want this to look nice. I still want to, you know, develop my skills at video editing. I think it's going to be really interesting because instead of a static book, I can use multimedia and video. And it means when I talk about for example, when I was a kid, I used to spend summers, I, I would spend a couple of weeks down at this place called Sardis Lake down in Mississippi. And I can take images of, of the lake and I can take, you know, some B-roll footage of what that was like. And I can show a map and I can show where it was and I can show, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I can try to bring that to life in the video other than me just talking about it. And I think that will really help to yeah, to just bring the story to life a little bit. And it gives me a chance to do some practice and to try and get better at my editing skills and doing all the stuff around film that I want. And hell, it may even mean that I can go back home at some point and take a whole bunch of footage myself. And I think I, I, I went back with my son a couple of years ago and the family and we went around with my dad and he showed us where he grew up down in Mississippi and, you know, I showed my son where I grew up and where I went to high school and all those sorts of things. But I wasn't into video at that time. And I just, you know, I missed that trip. It, now looking back, that would have been amazing. It would have been amazing to have, you know, some video of me and my son at my old high school, you know, but I wasn't confident. I wasn't thinking about it. It just video wasn't something that I did. And so I didn't I didn't think about it at the time. Maybe I'll get another chance. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll get another chance to see my dad before he passes away. Maybe I won't. Anyway, I want to be a little bit more open and I want to have a better conversation with people. And, and if, if there is anyone watching, then I want you to get a better sense for, for what's going on instead of me just talking about, yeah, I had a good day today and it was all good. Doesn't mean I'm going to do some massive story every single day. And I don't know, we'll just have to see how it goes, but I will try and I, I, what I don't want to do is be totally unorganized and just say, oh, okay, what do I want to talk about today? I want to try and find some sort of a, an order that goes to it. So I'm going to try and plan it out a little bit, but I'll, I'll start in the next day or so, maybe just give a little bit of background as an overview of kind of where I came from and, and that sort of thing. And then we'll go from there. But there we go. The other idea that I had is I know they do these um, these packages that you can buy where, you know, what they do is they send you one question every week. So you get 52 questions over a, a year's period and then you video the answers and then they take those videos and they put them in and then they basically put it into AI 
have it edit that down into a story. And then they take some of this. I think they take some of the stills or what. I I'm not sure exactly what they do with it. But what's really interesting are the questions that they ask. And so I thought about maybe using some of those questions as leader questions to start a conversation and for me to maybe record something around some of those. I mean, there's tons of them. There's lists of, you know, get 30 questions, you get 100 questions. Like all you have to do is Google it and and you can come up with loads of really interesting interview questions. And so maybe I might try using some of those as a guide. I don't know. But I do think that I want to, I want to get past doing this really superficial type stuff and I'd like to get into something a little, a little more meaty and something that may be a little bit more interesting for people other than uh, Dave's done another five minute video of, you know, yeah, okay, he's, he struggled with OBS again today and he thinks it's a bag of crap and he's not going to ever use it again. You know, I don't think anybody's really interested in that. I think what might be more interesting is knowing, you know, why I say that I was forged in the deep South and I was tempered in the English channel. I think that might be a more interesting story and that people might engage with that more. No idea, but, um, we're going to do it anyway. So that's my thought for today and look forward to hopefully a little bit more interesting content to come. Anyway, I will see you anon and try and get some sleep and we'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye-bye.